Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Wild Rum. You're back with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Dub honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom to the 144,000 men of the Lord you see on the highways and byways prophesying in the correct doctrine and in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Also want to send a shalom to the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgments. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha by their faith. Just got another lesson I want to go into through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, man, because our people are led as a flock to the slaughter, man. And constantly they go to church and they still have questions with no answers, man. But our people don't seek Yahweh Bashem Yahusha as they should. Because if they were to seek the Lord and read the scriptures as we were supposed to be doing, they would see that the men of the Lord on, on the highways and byways and on YouTube and various other different platforms give you the same information that the Lord will give you himself, man. Because we are his mouthpieces, man. But they seek in a, 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 a place where their, their, their ancestors, their grandmama, their granddaddy, they went to and they f felt like they had shelter or some type of peace in a place that was not designed for us, man. It was all set up by your oppressor, man. It was all set up by your oppressor. Your, your, your churches are only plantation buildings, man, that the, the plantation taught us when we came into came over here in slavery and they was taught taught us Christianity, man. That's not our that's not our religion, man. We have a nationality, man, that the Lord gave us, a heritage the Lord gave us. And that's what you should be returning to, man, before the Lord returns, man. So I got a couple of videos and a couple of scriptures I want to bring out through the Spirit of the Lord. And Lord willing to be edifying. Is that the problem with the church is that anytime a person is in need, y'all go to running and dropping money. But let me tell you something. The poor will be with you always. And there is no blessing connected to blessing the poor other than getting back what you gave to them. But no multiplication. Multiplication is segregated for tithes and offering. When you give to the poor, the only thing you do is help them, but you don't help yourself. So when you give a dollar to somebody on the street talking about I did my job, God like, thank you, but it ain't going to help you. Read your Bible. Charity does not bring wealth. Only the tithe does that. Matter of fact, you don't believe me? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to preach on it. So he just told you to your face you're supposed to be rich. And the poor are supposed to be poor, man. Which you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, this system is set up for you to be poor. So he's speaking to a, 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 not even a 1% of his, his, um, his congregation, man. Because our people don't know what rich is, man. Having a nice car and having a nice house, that's not rich, man. Even owning a business and being able to have employees, that's not rich, man. He has a mindset of Esau, man. And our people have to come out of this mindset because that mindset is going to get you destroyed. I got one scripture I want to bring out just to crush his whole rant he just went on. This is 1 Samuel 2 and verse 7. It says, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua make us poor and maketh rich see that the lord is his power to make you poor make you rich so what he's saying is is is, is going against you how about shimmy i was shy man again first samuel 2 and verse 7 it says you how about shimmy i was shy make a poor and maketh rich he bring up low and lift up up see that he make he make you low and he'll lift you up man so he so he 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 just sit up there and said he's a he's pretty much against the so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans, man. These men are gonna lead you to destruction, man. They're gonna be against you in the times we're coming into, man. They're gonna give you up, man. Because their mindset is on, on Esau's agenda. Let me give you one more scripture, man. This is Proverbs 19, 22. It says, The desire of a man is his kindness. And a poor man is better than a liar. See that? I'd rather be poor than be a liar like him, man, because he's going to be destroyed, man. He's going to be destroyed. Because the Lord is not dealing with no, no rich man in society, man. 
He put us here for punishment. Let me give you one more scripture, man. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 6. It says, This poor man crieth, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushua heard him. See that? The Lord is hearing the poor, man. He ain't hearing no rich man in society. 34 and Psalms 34 and 6. It says, This poor man cried, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushua heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. That's what we're looking forward to, to being saved out of all our troubles, man. This man is looking to be rich in his society, man, which that's a mindset of destruction, man. And shall lock Ryan to him, man, because the Lord don't hate, don't, don't, don't like evil, man. This man is going to be destroyed, man. That man is going to be destroyed, man. And you seeking pastors like his prosperity doctrine is going to get a lot of you, you Jake's killed, man. Because the Lord is going to destroy this society, man. He ain't dealing with no pastors in this society talking about being rich. Because not only that, they'll lead you to different demons that that they bring out through uh, of, of like society, man. Leading you to think, well, if you you with this man and you got this and you got that, then you, you you're happy, man. But we know in this society that you can't be happy by having just money, man. That's why so many people kill themselves, be filthy rich, and they perish. But they have a lot of money. When the scripture tell you, you gain the whole world and lose your soul, man. Let me get that real quick before we go to this, this video, man. Let me get that real quick, man. Gain the whole world and lose your soul, man. What's the point of gaining everything if you're going to lose your soul, man? Let me see if I can get it real quick. Get in a Mark 8 and 36. That shit like that should piss you off, man. When you seeing somebody up there sitting up there and people struggling, man, high, high, um, shit, high, um, inflation just going throughout the, the, the entire globe. People can't even barely get groceries. Shit, barely can go to, go, get afford to go to church. But you, Jake's man, believe that these men are, are dealing with, the Lord is dealing with these people, man. The Lord is going to destroy this this uh, this mindset of being rich in this society, man. This is uh, Mark 8 and 36. It says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul, man? You lose your whole own soul, man. And who has the power to destroy your soul, man? You howl about Shimei Osha, man. New Living Translation, it says, And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world, but lose your own soul. See that? What benefit is that to have all the money in America finna be destroyed? What benefit is that, man? Having all the cars and clothes and going to these fancy restaurants. What benefit is that if it's going to be destroyed, man? By the hands of the creator. Good news translation. It says, do you gain anything if you win the whole world, but lose your life? See that? But lose your life. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. So the Lord said, you gain all this, what do you gain? Nothing, man. It only leads to more demons, man. And check this guy out, man. And you can see that he is he has heavy demons on him, man. He's in your military, man. Because when you believe in, in this man's society and believe in this man's world, you believe like him, man. Oh, it's like... <laughs> Why did I just get in trouble for having a pink lunchbox? And then I got in trouble for wearing lip gloss. Yeah. Yeah. And God forbid, God forbid I wear some mascara. Oh, they'd be so mad. God forbid I wear mascara. And I had to, I had to, I had to damn near go back. After I seen this video pass, I had to go back and make sure this was just a man, man. Because the guy was so feminine, I thought it was a woman. Just by his voice. I was just strolling through the videos, and this just came by. I thought it was a woman. I thought he just had, had his hair tucked up. I mean, he, he, I thought it was a woman that had her hair tucked up in a hat. But when I seen the video, and I stopped and looked at the video, I seen how feminine this man was, man. And what I say about this man's society, this is what leads it to, man. You going to church believing that this man can, is the so-called white man I'm speaking about. Is the this man's society is is um is is righteous. You can live here and dwell here, man. But everything is wicked, man. 
And you can see this man has heavy demons on him, man, because the Lord didn't intend nobody to be a man being a woman and, and, and vice versa, a woman being a man, man. The Lord didn't, in, intended for us to be, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans to be like that, man. And you see what his army promotes. This man is in the military, man. That alone should see, show you that this place is finished, man. This place is done, man. That should show you that, man. Now, check this video out. This guy is an artist, a Christian artist and producer. JR uh, pronounces Christianity, I no longer believe the Bible. He never knew the Bible, man. He never read the Bible, man. Let's get it. That I no longer believe the claims of the Bible. Um, and that includes Jesus being God. I don't believe the resurrection. I don't believe that it was made up by those who missed him, those um, who were used to deif deifying um, great leaders and AIs as customs as people did back then, you know? And ultimately, because what I read in the scriptures, the stories, people, places, and things, <laughs> uh, when you know, in the face of objective reality, don't hold water. Now he he is he is stuck in his own mindset, man, because he never he know him he never learned the truth. See, Christianity doesn't teach you the truth. They teach you to feel good and believe in a white man, and he will solve all your problems. He will fix all your troubles. That's what they've been taught, man. And that's why a lot of people say I've turned against the Bible because they believe that's what's in there without opening it up and seeing it for themselves. See, so being an Israelite, man, being in this truth and learning that you are an Israelite, you seek out the Lord. You don't, you, don't, you don't seek out what somebody says. You seek out the Lord, man, because once somebody teaches you, they teach you, they teach you to seek the Lord, man. So when the lessons I bring out, I teach you to seek the Lord, man, because I have no power to save you but i'm giving you the spiritual power to save your own soul man as well as your family and those that believe in your in, in what you bring out through the spirit and power of you how about shimmy i was man because we're bringing it right out of the bible man this is not out of my own thinking our own sayings man this is right out of the heavenly father's word man i'm gonna start here in jeremiah 1 i mean 23 in verse 1 it says woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. See, these people, man, they went into the alphabet community. They went into the world of, of, of music, entertainment. They went into the world of sports. And they thought the Lord was with them because they felt like they was doing good. So the Lord got to be with me. I got this. I got that. I got I got so many riches. See, our, our people have been taught that the riches are what makes you holy, man. Riches make you closer to your how about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why so many so many of our people have been led to not believe in your how about Shem Yahweh Shah in the word of the Lord, man. And that's all because they've listened to a pastor that has no power in the spirit of the Lord, man. See, the Lord has given us the men of the Lord that teaches correct doctrine. He has given us power through his word, man. This is Jeremiah 23 and verse 1 again. It says, Woe be to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. See that? The Lord is against your pastor, man. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. See that? You have driven the, the children of Israel away from the Lord, man, from their true living power, man. So that's why a lot of these these Christian pastors are going to be destroyed, man. And you're going to see it. He says, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. So, so you're saying you haven't taught them the truth, man. You have scattered them so they can go any, into any different religions or different philosophies of this world, man. You have scattered them everywhere, man. You have driven them away from the Heavenly Father. He says, behold... I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. See, the Lord is going to, he's going to destroy a lot of these pastors, man, very soon, man. 
And see, bro, he bro, he showed you who T.D. Jakes was, man. And a long list of um these pastors that that, that was walking right with T.D. Jakes and teaching with him, bigging him up and and giving you uh, false hope and prosperity and and being rich, being famous. The Lord is doing away with that, man. He's showing you that this 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 life is only meant for us to repent to Him. Not to be rich and be famous and have this and have that. We have to be humble, man. And that's what the Lord is requiring of us is to be humble. Having faith in him. Verse 3 he says, I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their foes. And that's what you're seeing. The hopeful elect are being the, 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 the elect are being returned to Yahweh by Shem Shah. And I say hopeful because we can't say for sure we are the elect, but we praying and hoping that we are part of this fold, man, the Lord is telling you. He says, verse three again, he says, and I will give, I will gather the flock, it's like I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whether I have driven them and will bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. And that's what you're seeing, the fold of the, of the elect are being increased, man. More and more people waking up to the truth of who they are and believing and having faith in their power, man. And I will set up a shepherd over them which shall feed them. And that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing the men of the Lord being risen up to teach his word, man. For you to believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, to teach you the correct doctrine, teach you the correct way. He says, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. See that? The elect are not fearing this man, this Edomite, man. These pastors, these boule members. We're not fearing him anymore, man. Not telling the truth, trying to be political, politically correct on speaking. No, man, the Lord is showing you through the spirit of the Lord. Uh, the, the men of the Lord are showing you through the spirit of the Lord. We are, we are back, man. The elect are back in place, man, teaching his word, man. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking. See that? We have the 100% truth. As the apostles and elders always say, man. Says Yahweh about Shem Shah, man. And that's that power we have, man, on a low level. So the Lord increases it, man. So you're seeing the spirit of the Lord being increased in the earth. And it's all through his men that he set up to preach his word, man. We're not lacking, man. The scriptures are clearly telling you we're not lacking, man. This truth is waking people up, man, understanding who they are, man. Five, it says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, that I will raise up unto, unto David a righteous branch. And we are the righteous branch, that elect, that remnant of the Israelites are the righteous branch, man. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And that's what we're finna come into, man. Being saved out of Babylon the Great before the destruction comes, man. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, that they shall no more say, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh by Shem Yahushua liveth which brought up and which lead, lead, led the seed of the house of Israel out of, out of the north country, man. And, we're talk, and that's talking about the north country being America, man. North America. And from all countries, whether I have driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. See that? We're going to go back to our own land and dwell safely, man. But the work has to be done is waking up the, the, the elect. And that's what we're doing on the highways and byways and making lessons constantly online, man. So you're seeing the land, the, the Lord shaking his hand over Babylon the Great. And you're also seeing the Lord you, on the right-hand side waking up his children to return before he brings the judgment, man. Yahweh Shah represents his right hand, man. And Esau, Edom, in the, in, the, in, the, in the devil, man, the spiritual demon Satan is, a, is the left hand, man. 
So we're prophesying on the right hand side, man of the Lord, man. These Edomites control the left hand side. That's why they control all the, the weapons of mass destruction and the um the weapons that make make harp and all these different things, man. I gotta name everything. You should know about now. Make these hurricanes, tornadoes, all that shit, man. See, the Lord is moving, man. He's moving these chess pieces left and right, man, left and right. So you should understand what times we're in, man. This is Isaiah 43 and verse 5. It says, Fear not, for I am with thee. I'll, I'll, I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from from the ends of the earth. And you're seeing that, man. The elect are being woken up to this truth, man. Understanding who we are as a people, man. You're seeing it, man. And if you ain't seeing it, then, then you're not meant to see it, man. You're meant to be destroyed here in Babylon the Great or wherever you are, man. If you can't see the Lord is raising up the children of Israel from that dead state, that, sl that sleepless, I mean, that, that sleep state, you're, 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 you're definitely not in tune with the spirit of the Lord, man. This is Isaiah 30. And I'm going to drop down to verse 20. It says, And though Yahweh Shem Yahweh giveth you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall thy teachers, so like it says, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. See that? So you're able to see the, the teachers online on the highways and byways, you, you're able to get personal with the teachers, man, ask your questions and, 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 and see what we are is just normal people, man, that the Lord woke us up through the spirit of the Lord, man, to teach you the correct way. It said, verse 20 again, it says, and though Yahweh Shem Yahweh giveth thee bread of affliction and water of adversity, so when you come into this truth, you're going to all hell, you're going to experience all hell breaking loose in your life, man. It's not going to be a smooth road in this truth, man. But you have examples of, of men that, that can give account of what you went through, we went through. What you're going through now, we went through. Being being not believed by your family and friends, your old lady, we done went through it. Having not to, um, you know what I'm saying, um, deal with people not dealing with you, man, not want to be around you, we done did it, man. We don't went through all the things that you're going to experience when you come into this truth, man. So you're not going through it alone, man. See, the Lord set it up perfectly, man. We were, we was in church, going to, believing in a so-called white man, going to church every Sunday, thinking that we can get rich and be prosperous, prosperous in this society. We went through all of that, man. We were seared with that hot iron, thinking that the white man was our God, man. Thinking that if you just believe and do good, then you, you, you will make it in society, man. Not knowing we was under the curses, man. See, like I said, man, the Lord gave you examples, man. When I came to the truth, the apostles and elders and brothers, you know what I'm saying, and I listen to their videos, and I see, damn, they went through the same thing just like I did, man. Man, they're just like me. So you can understand that what we're going through is all of the spirit of the Lord, man. It's all the hands of your how about Shem Shah, man. And this is a blessing, man, to understand this truth, man. Because so many people are going through life and don't have a clue what's their next step, man. What's going to happen? One more time, 20. It says, and though your how about Shem Shah giveth you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet not thy teachers shall, it's like it, thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thy ears shall see, it's like, but the eyes shall see thy teachers. So you see in the men of the Lord everywhere, man. And thy ears shall hear the word behind thee saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. See that? So even if you cut off a brother's video, you, man, you remember what he said, man. Damn, they hit home, man. That makes sense. This is the way, man. This is the way to go, man. The Lord's name is Yahweh, being a father, Yahweh shall be a son. See, these things hit, man. And you remember this, because I did it. I remembered that. That's the way. Okay, it makes sense now. Saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. See that? This is the way, walk ye in it, man. 
So you have the, the all the, the men of the Lord, the true the two men of the Lord that speaking the correct doctrine, all of us saying the same exact way. This is the way. Yahweh by Shem is the way, man. When you turn to the right hand, and when the one the, when ye turn to the left, ye shall defile also the covering of the of thy graven image images of silver and ornaments of molten images of gold. So you're supposed to do away with them, man. So you should not be defiled with the covering of those, man. This pagan gods of uh, Buddha and, and um, so-called white man Jesus, which is Cesar Bozier. All those things you're supposed to, it's going to say, thou shalt cast them away as a menstrual cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. See that? You're supposed to throw these things away. Once you come to this truth, there's no looking back, man. You don't supposed to look back like Lot's wife, man. This is the way, walk ye in it. And don't look back. That's why I say it from the back. Don't look back, man. You throw away all the things that you've been taught here, man. It's all been a lie. Let me get this into another translation. It says, New Living Translation says, Then you will destroy all your silver idols and your precious gold images. You will throw them out like a filthy, filthy rag, saying to them, Good riddance. See that? When you come into this truth, you're supposed to throw everything else you've learned away. Not to look back at it. And that's why a lot of our people can't see what we see, man, on the highways and byways. Once we came to this truth, we threw Christianity away. Never to look back at it. Never to go back to church. Never to go and do a singing and none of that gathering. We threw that away, man, like a, 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 um, a dirty rag, man. Good News Translation, it says, You will take your idols plant plated with silver and your idols covered with gold and you will throw them away like filthy shouting out of my sight and that's what your mindset should be man when you come to this truth you hear the word of the lord you should throw all those things you 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 became accustomed to and believed in away because that's not the truth man the lord has set up man to teach you the right way man and that start with the apostles and elders of great millstone them down to the brothers teach the same likewise doctrine, man. The, the affiliate camps as well as um, the brothers of Great Millstone, man. We're teaching the correct way, man, the way to go. Because we don't want your blood on our hands, man. Because we know this is un undoubtedly the truth. This is uh, Jeremiah 12, and I'm going to drop down to verse 10. It says, many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness, man. And our people have become destroyed, man. Desolate wilderness, man. A lot of them ain't gonna wake up until this place be destroyed, man. They have made it desolate. See that these pastors have made our people destroyed, man. They have made it desolate. And being desolate, it mourned unto me. See that? Our people, are, even though they don't know the truth, they're seeking the truth, man. They seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, even though they call him Jesus. They go to church. Their spirits are yearning for the truth, man. The true living power. And the Lord set it up for us to give it to you if you if you repent, man, and turn, turn to him. Because what you see all on TV, the gospel awards and all that shit, man, that's all that's all for nothing, man. It's all pagan, man. You got Christian songs and stuff, people sang and stuff like that, trying to get closer to the Lord, but they don't have a true name in it, man. This is the new song we're singing, man. These are the verses that we're singing because we know the truth now. They have made it desolate and being desolate and mourn unto me. The whole land is made desolate because no man layeth to heart. See, these people are not seeking it. These pastors are not seeking the truth to teach our people. They can care less if you think you're an African-American or a black man or a black woman. They want you to go vote. They want you to participate in this man's society, man. And ultimately, they want you to receive this man's chip, man, which is the mark of the beast. See, they're not laying at the heart the Lord is coming to destroy Babylon the Great, man. They're not laying at the heart. They're not laying at the heart that the Lord is not dealing with no churches, man, no pastors. The spoilers are come upon you, 
So like it must, the spoilers have come upon all high places through the wilderness. For the sword of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah shall devour from one end of the land even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. And that's what's going to happen, man. All hell is about to break loose. And only the elect are going to be going to be prepared and through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah and protected, man. But if you don't if you're not in this truth, you're not going to have peace. Because you clearly are not going to know what's going on. This man is setting up his, his society to be under him, man. Chemical attacks after chemical attacks are happening, man. You got this, uh, you got these different weather modifications coming and destroying and killing people and destroying their lands and destroying their homes, man. Never to return, man. Destroying towns, man. So this man's agenda is in motion, man, full motion. And they're trying to get this war to be kicked off before the election, man, which is, which is what, in 20 days or so? Which, that also, that's, man, that's, a, that's a whole other story, man, because shit, that might be the the, the, the start of of, 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 a, of civil war, civil unrest, all hell breaking loose, man. As you see, what what today was a, um, uh, the food, was it a uh, big... Well, I think it was a billion some um, pounds of meat was recalled. Man, the list goes on and on and on, man. So this is the time to repent and return to the Lord, man, because if you're not returned to the Lord, you're not going to have peace, man. And the only peace that you're going to receive is through this word. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. See that? They have sown wheat, but we're going to re reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain. See that? They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fury, furious anger of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. So what your stock is in Babylon the Great, you're going to reap thorns, man. The Lord is going to punish this place, man, severely. New Living Translation says, my people have planted wheat. But your but are harvesting thorns. You're not going to get anything out of this place, man. They have worn they have worn themselves out, believing in this man, but it has done them no good. They will harvest a crop of shame because of the fierce anger of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. So you're planting your spirit in this place, man. Believing America is going to come back, your town is going to get better. You're going to reap the thorns, man, because the fierce anger of the Lord is here, man. My people planted wheat, but gather, but gather weeds. They have worked hard, but, but got nothing for it. See that? If you're invested in America, you're not going to get nothing for it, man. Because my fury, my furious anger, my because of my fierce anger, uh, their crops have failed. See that? The investment you made in this place, man. Believing and having this place on your mind. Going and voting. Going and being a part of this man's society, man. It's going to all lead to failure, man. Because of the fierce anger of the Lord is here, man. See, we don't have no power to bring these judgments on the earth. But we're speaking of them because they're finna come to, to pass, man. They're finna come to pass, man, right before your eyes, man. And the Lord is giving you warning after warning, man, through video after video. And you, you, if you're not seeking the Lord, man, you're not going to find him, man. You're not going to find the truth. Because you, you think, well, them guys, they don't know, they don't know the highways and byways. They ain't got this, they ain't got that. That ain't where the Lord set it up, man. The Lord set it up for you to see us being on the highways and byways as an example of our faith. In the most high power, man. So you see, when you see us out there, it's, a, it's an example of our faith in the Lord, man. The Lord has given us the spirit to have faith, man. It's a gift. And we're presented right out there on the highways and byways, man, constantly, man. This is um, Jeremiah 3, and I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, And Yahweh by Shimei Shai say unto me, The backsliding Israel have justified the justify herself more than treacherous Judah. Let's get this into another translation, man. New Living Translation, it says, 
of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh said to me, even faithless Israel is less guilty than treacherous Judah. It's good news translation says, then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh told me that even though Israel is turned away from him, she had proved to be better than unfaithful Judah. So all you Israelites, I've turned away from the Lord, man. The northern and southern kingdom, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, total, man. You've turned against the Lord, man. Yeah, uh, and how about Shem Yahshua said unto me, the backsliding Israel have justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return thou backsliding Israel. See that? And that's what we're going to tell you, man. Return to the Lord, man. You backsliding Israelites, man. Says you how about Shem Yahshua. And I will cause my anger to fall upon you for I am merciful. Slock it, shall, let me slow down. Verse 12 again, it says, go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return thou backsliding Israel, says Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. See, we out, we out, we out to get you to repent to the Lord, man, before the Lord's judgment call, comes, man. It says, and I will not cause my, fear, my, my anger to fall upon you. For I am a merciful, I am merciful, says Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, and I will not keep anger forever. See that? The Lord is giving you a way to repent and return from the destruction before it hits, man. He's giving you a way out, man. Only acknowledge my only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou has transgressed against Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. See that? Just repent to the me, and I will understand and I'll forgive you, man. See, the Lord is telling you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, this is your way out, man. This is your chance to repent to me. Because he said, only thine, thine iniquity, only your iniquity, man, you do it. You can't repent for your mama, your daddy, <laughs> your kids. You have to do it, man. And you be examples to them for them to do it, man. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, thy power, and has scattered thy way to the strangers under every green tree. It says, and ye have not obeyed my voice, says Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. See, my people haven't, he said, he said his people haven't heard, haven't obeyed his voice. And we are his, his mouthpiece out there on the highways and byways and making these lessons, man. You haven't obeyed the Lord's voice. Verse 14, it says, turn, O backsliding children, says Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, for I am married unto you. See that? We are the Lord's people, man. We are Yasharala. The Lord is married unto us. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you unto I will bring you to Zion. See that? He will save you. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. See that? See, when you repent to the Lord, he's going to give you pastors according to his heart, man. And that's who you see right before your faces, man. Like I said before, man, from the apostles and elders of great millstone on down, man. The brothers and teachers saying likewise doctrine, man. See, the Lord has set us up to be pastors and teach from his heart, man, his mind, what he wants to bring out, man. Because when we hit these scriptures, man, we, we, we can't say, well, the Lord want me to hit this, we want me to hit this. No, man, the Lord put it on the spirit, man. Get this scripture, get this scripture, get this scripture. Even, you know what I'm saying, even like some brothers that be at camp and this just the, 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 um, um, scripture hit him, boom. That's the, that's the Lord, man. This is all spiritual, man. And you have to look at this as a spiritual because we can't tell you exactly, man. The Lord wants you to do this. The Lord wants you to do that. No, the Lord will bring out a lesson and you will, you, will, you, will, you will feed off of it. Your spirit will feed off the lesson, man. Verse 15, it says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. See that? The Lord has set up men to feed you with knowledge and understanding from him, man. He said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, man, meaning his mind. See, this is all set up through the spirit and power of your heart by Shem Yahushua perfectly, man. It's set up perfectly. He says, and it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, they shall say no more, 
the ark of, of the covenant of Yahweh Mashim Yahushah, neither shall it come to come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that like, let me slow down, neither shall that be done anymore. So you don't have to visit the covenant or the ark of the covenant anymore, man. The Lord set us up to be his spokesman. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the thorn of Yahweh by Shem Shai, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it. It's going to the kingdom of heaven. To, to the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imaginations of their, their own, it's like a, of their evil heart. He says, even they were walking in the imagination of the, of the evil heart, man. So, so basically, the children of Israel repent and return back to him, man. He says, in those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the, out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for a inheritance unto your father. See that? We're going to get back to the kingdom of heaven, man. And we'll be back in, in peace with each other. The northern and the southern kingdoms, man. Like I said, that's going into the kingdom of heaven. But we're, we're entering into that time. The Lord is going to save us from Babylon the great, man. And that's why this Lord, the Lord has given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand what times we're in, man. To preach his word right now the correct way, man. To get our people to understand who they are, who he is, and how to get to him. This is, this is Isaiah 54. This is Isaiah 54, and I'm starting at verse 4. It says, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. And that's what we're telling our people. Believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you're not going to be put to shame, man. These people that believe in Jesus and Christ, most high Christ blessed, they're going to be ashamed, man. They're going to be ashamed. He says, For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. So we're not going to remember the wickedness that we was doing before, man. We repented to the Lord and we're not going to be confounded and we're going to walk away from what we believed in our past, man. It says, For thy, for thy maker is thy husbandman, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua host is his name and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The power of the whole earth shall be, shall he be called, man. And that's returning back to the, the creator of everything, man. For Yahweh by Shem Yahushua hath called thee as a woman forsaken and greed in spirit and a wife of youth. When thou was, ref, when, when thou was refused Save thy power for a small remnant. It's like for a small moment, I forsake forsaken thee, but with great mercy will I gather thee. See that the Lord has gathered us, man. It, it felt like it was we was forsaken for a long period of time, but now we're seeing the Lord gather us again, man. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness. Will I have mercy on thee, Seb Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, thy Redeemer. See that? Thy Redeemer, man, has come for us, man. And it's coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, man. The Lord has given us mercy, man. And he's given us the opportunity to repent to him before the judgment comes. And I'm going to hit this last one. I'm going to hit this last one, man. This is Jeremiah 29. In verse 10, it says, for thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, that after 70, 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you. And 70, we just made me completion. We, we know we're speaking of the ancient, the ancient times, but in this time, we're in Babylon the Great, man. The completion, man. But they said, um, oh, I ain't gonna go into that, but let me continue. I'm gonna go on and say about the, uh, the 70 years that um, the small had a the state was established. That's completion. It's time for it to come down, in other words. He says, I will form my good toward you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts I, that I, I think toward you, says Yahweh Shem Yahweh thoughts of peace and not 
of evil to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you. See that the Lord is going to hearken unto our prayers, man. And ye shall seek me and find me. See that if you're seeking the Lord, you're going to find him, man. There's no way not to see him through the spirit. It says, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. See that when you search for the Lord with all your heart, you're going to find him, man. And this is what requires the Lord requiring of us to seek him with us all our heart, man. And I will be a, and I will be found of you. See that? And I will be found of you, says Yahweh by Shem And I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all places, whether I have driven you, said Yahweh by Shem And I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive. See that? The Lord is going to give us our land back, man. He's going to give us the land that we've been taken away from, man. And that's Jerusalem, 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 Israel. Let me get this real quick. I'm going to end it on this one. This is Proverbs 8 to 8. Oh, I want to go say 18, but I'm going to get Proverbs 8. And um, let's get 17. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. That's plain, man. So if you're confused about this truth, man, if you're seeking the Lord, you're going to find him, man. It's not going to be any confusion. New Living Translation. I love all, 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 all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. See that? If you love the Lord, you're going to search for the Lord, man. We can't make you find the Lord. But if you're seeking him, the scriptures clearly tell you you're going to find him. Good News Translation says, I love those who love me. Whoever looks for me can find me. Plain, man. Plain. So Lord willing was edifying. I'm in it there. Shalom. Shalom.